What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AT Carry Ass back with the reaction today. We finna do something on this channel we haven't done before, you know what I'm saying? And if y'all don't know, it's the new year right now. Today is December 31st. Tonight is New Year's. Oh, it's New Year's Eve right now. We're gonna break down the best movies, in my opinion, that I've seen of 2023. Now, y'all know we react to a lot of movie trailers here, and we also do some movie reviews. I didn't do as many as I should have this year. I knew that I was slacking a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I was slacking. Yeah, yeah. But guess what? I'm going to do a lot more next year, so bust don't trust believe that. But um today we're gonna go on a tier list and we're gonna rank the movies that I did see this year and how you know what I'm saying where I think it should be at S tier, A tier, B tier, you know what I'm saying? Or right, if I didn't I didn't see them, I'm gonna rank them. So we're gonna see how how this how this turns out. It's my first time doing this. I'm not gonna I don't know what's gonna be like. So just bear with me. But if y'all not such as that sub but hit that like button, make sure you check out my last video I just posted today. And I'm happy New Year's, but let's get to it. All right, y'all. Now for the first movie we about to do, you know what I'm saying? This is this is a guarantee S tier. This is a, this is my number one movie of 2023. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm gonna act out a scene and see if I can get something to put. Everybody always telling me do this, do that, but I said hell no. Nah. I'm gonna do my own thing. Now from that, you know what I mean? I know, I know I'm a good actor, bro. Y'all don't gotta tell me. I already know. But y'all already know a movie I'm about to pick. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. That is a perfect movie. And to me, that's the number one movie of 2023. All right, y'all. Now let's get to the next movie, you feel me? The next movie, what is it gonna be? Let's see, let's see. Let's go through the list. What, what movie am I gonna grab? I'm trying to see what we got seen. Okay. Ant-Man, the Quantanium Manium Banium. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of people, y'all did not like that movie that much. Me personally, I didn't think it was horrible. It wasn't as bad as y'all made it seem. I'm not gonna lie, it was as bad as y'all made it seem. But I'm gonna have to go ahead and put it. Ant-Man, Quantanium Manium. This is gonna have to be, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it okay, you feel me? I feel like it was an okay movie. It was either a high okay, or a very low good, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't bad, it wasn't great, but I still could enjoy it, you feel me? Y'all was hating a little too much on the movie, you feel me? And if I was Ant-Man, <laughs> we would have a problem. Next, let's come back with another good movie, you feel me? Now, hey, I don't know about y'all, bro, but I love me some John Wick, bro. When it got action, guns, shooting, all that good stuff, I love that movie, bro. So for John Wick, I'm gonna have to throw it in the awesome tier. Cause I feel like John Wick 4, it wasn't the best John Wick, but it was really a good one, you know what I'm saying? I loved it. And you, you just gotta appreciate John Wick for what it is, you know what I'm saying? It's an action movie, and I came for action, and I got the action, and I, I enjoyed it, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the John Wick 4, but to me, it's gonna be in that awesome tier. Now, if y'all don't know, I love me some scary movies, bro. I watched a lot of scary movies. Now, let's get the first scary movie off the list, and I'm gonna have to go with Evil Dead Rise. Now, me personally, once again, I love the Evil Dead series, bro. I, it, when it comes to like that that crazy killing in the uh, movies, Evil Dead it it captures everything I love about scary movies. So Evil Dead for me, it was a perfect movie. I'm, I know y'all probably not gonna agree, but it was perfect to me, bro. It, it was kind of scary, and it was insane. I love those two things, bro. So Evil Dead is going to have to go in the perfect tier, bro. Hopefully, I'll have too many perfect tiers. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not a hard person to please when it comes to movies, bro. Usually, had a very few things I like, and it, hey, it's a banger to me. But to me, Evil Dead, you in the perfect tier. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. We're gonna go with Creed now. We're gonna go with Creed. Creed 3, bro. Now, Creed 3 was a really good movie. I feel like, I mean, I don't even know if I say the man's name, but he played it. He did really good in this movie. And Michael B. Jordan did good as well. So, I might throw that in the awesome tier. You know what I'm saying? I don't really want to speak too much on that because it's a lot of. There's a lot of stuff going on around some people in that movie. <laughs> you know, either you know or you don't. So I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna leave it right there. What else we got? What else we got? What other movie I seen in 2023 that I oh yo, the blackening. Now the blackening. Let's talk about this movie right here, bro. This is like a comedy horror movie, bro. And you know, comedy horror movies they haven't really been hitting on they did ever since like scary movie one or two. Those are way older, so I feel like this movie right here made me enjoy the genre again. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the awesome tier again. Because I really, I'm going to lie, The Black Ning was a good movie. I really thought that movie was hilarious. I enjoyed it. If y'all didn't see it, y'all should definitely go see it. Ooh, this is this one right here. The Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. Now, I don't know why what made them in their right mind makes them make this movie about Winnie the Pooh. My boy Winnie the Pooh, out of all people. Winnie the Pooh, out of all the cartoon characters you can pick, you pick Winnie the Pooh. Winnie. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the bad tier. Hopefully, Winnie's not listening because I don't want no smoke. But it, it wasn't it for me, bro. I'm not going to lie. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey was not it for me. Let me know in the comments if y'all enjoyed that one because I sure did not. Bro, I, I, I didn't realize how many movies dropped this year. And I'm not going to lie. 
I enjoy it. Oh, this is a good. Oh, I forgot about this. Teenage Teenage Turtle Mutant Ninja Turtle Ham Peanut Butter Jelly Sandwiches. Bro, this movie right here. This movie right here. It's either, it's either a perfect or it's a high awesome. I'm going to go with. I'm gonna put it. In, I'm gonna put it. In, I'm gonna put it in perfect, bro. It's above Evil Dead too. I'm gonna put it in perfect. Animation this year, y'all wasn't. Hey, y'all wasn't y'all bag. I'm not gonna lie. Animation movies were in their bag, bro. They were dropping bangers on bangers on bangers on bangers on bangers. On bangers. And this was a banger, bro. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was that was it. That was it. All right, this right here, Teen Wolf. Now I don't know about y'all, bro, but y'all probably gonna be like, yo, you weird. I don't care. Growing up, Teen Wolf. That show was my one of my favorite shows growing up. So I definitely checked in for this movie, and it, it was good. Eh? You know what I'm I liked it. Bro. I liked it. I don't care. Y'all probably not agree with this one. I like Teenage. I mean Teen Wolf. I like this. So I'm gonna put it in the good tier. If you don't like it, I don't like you. Next, let's go to Megan. Megan. Now Megan. I have iffy feelings about Megan. Let me talk about. Let me tell me talk about this one. Look, Megan the movie, right? The concept of this movie was good. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it was. It's a scary concept to me. Cause when it comes to dolls and stuff like that, that I ain't gonna lie, I be a little, I be a little scary with it. So it was a scary concept. The movie was okay, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the execution could have been a little bit better. There were some scenes, and y'all know what I'm talking about. Where I was like, I was sitting in the movie theater, and I was like, what am I watching? This is a goofy movie. But at the same time, I also enjoy some scenes. So I'm a little, I'm a little torn with Megan. But I think for Megan, I think, I don't think, it, I think it was better. It was better than Winnie the Pooh. Hold on, it's in the call. Yeah, I'm going to put it right here. I'm not going to lie, Team Wolf. you right here, though. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. The more I thought about it, Team Wolf, I don't think it was I don't think it was in the good tier. It was okay. I enjoyed it. But I don't think it was good. It was good if you... Yeah, I'm going to put it okay. But let's get, to, let's get back to the list. Ooh, this is it. This is right here. I don't got to say too much. This is perfect, bro. Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Was it 3? I think it was 3. That was probably the best Guardians of the Galaxy movie I've seen out of the whole series. It was a perfect trilogy, a perfect way to end it. Beautiful movie, beautiful scenes, beautiful story, beautiful, 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 beautiful. It was a great movie, you know what I'm saying? If I ain't see it, y'all miss it now. Y'all need to go see that immediately, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I need to get back into my, yo, I'm telling you, 2024, I'm going to be on it when it comes to movie reviews. I was slacking. I was slacking. And y'all, you know why I was slacking? It's y'all fault. I'm not gonna lie, it's y'all fault. You didn't hold me accountable. You gotta hold me accountable. Hold me accountable to these videos, and I'm, I'm gonna get back on them. But the movie reviews is back. 2024 is back. But yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy is definitely under the perfect tier, no questions asked. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. The Boogeyman. I seen that, John. Did I see Boogeyman? Hold on, let me see. The Boogeyman. Did I see, did I see the Boogeyman? Don't ask me why I type in all caps. Oh, I did see this movie. I did. All right, y'all, I, I did see the Boogeyman, so. I haven't seen the boogeyman and um i'm not gonna lie to you it's it's under the bad meter that movie that movie was not what i expected it to be when i heard the title boogeyman i was not expecting that boogeyman that was not the boogeyman that was the oogie man and it's gonna be under the bad title and for all the movies i don't see y'all know in the comments down below some some gems that i missed in 2023 that i didn't see i feel like i've seen a lot but there's definitely a lot of these movies on here that i did not witness you know what i'm saying and sometimes i still gotta get to like the transform movie i didn't see it i know it's gonna be good but I just didn't get to it yet. Insidious the Red Door. Now, as a as a as a youngin, the first Insidious movie, that scared me to another level. It did something to my younger self that can never be reversed. You know what I'm saying? The amount of scaredness I felt watching that first one. And when it came to this last one, you dropped the ball. You're under the You're under the You're under the bad tier. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're under the bad tier. It's not it's not worse than Winnie the Pooh. It's it's not worse than Boogeyman either. I'll put it in front of Boogeyman. But it's under the bad tier, bro. Hate me in the comments if I want to. I'm sorry, bro. I just, I was not feeling the book on oh, Insidious last, the Red Door, whatever it was, bro. I was not feeling that much. I'm not gonna lie. So right now, it's, this is how the list is looking. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad. The list looks fine to me. Would I tweak anything? Now nah, I think I'll keep it how it is. Flash. Let me go ahead and just go ahead and do this real quick. All right. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? I didn't see the Marvels yet. A lot of y'all was hating on the Marvels bad. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I got to see it still. I didn't see it. I didn't see it anymore. What I seen? That's what I seen. Oh, I seen this movie on Hulu. What is it, what is it called? It Will Save You? Or I don't even know what it's called. Honestly, I can't see the title. But I did see it with the aliens. At first, 
I was like, what is this movie? I feel like it was very quiet. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I, was, I wasn't getting it much. But then it turned up a little bit. So I'm going to have to put it. I'm gonna put it. It was better than Megan. I'm gonna put it right here. It was okay. I, I didn't. I didn't. I enjoyed it. It wasn't horrible. So if you actually check that out, if y'all like some scary movies like me, I like alien scary movies because I ain't gonna lie, they really scare me because I'm like, if that really happens, I'm cooked. Cause I don't even want to deal with that, bro. But I'll put it in the okay meter. All right. I know. I see a lot more movies. They're not. They're not close to being. Fin Ooh, talk to me. Ooh, talk to me. Yo, talk to me was one of the best scary movies this year. Talk to me is under the awesome meter. That movie was great, bro. Talk. Matter of fact. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right there. If y'all didn't see Talk To Me, y'all missing out on a gem. That is a great scary movie. That movie was fire, bro. That, I love that movie. That was a great movie. I enjoyed it 100%. We need to talk to me too. Coming out soon, hopefully. All right, let me see. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like, I feel like I'm getting to the, towards the end because I, I didn't see a lot of these movies, bro. Let's see. Let's see. Let, the Nun 2. I did see The Nun 2. I'm not gonna lie. When I watched The Nun 2, I watched it twice. I fell asleep the first time. I want to see why I seen two movies that same day. I fell asleep the first time. I definitely was tired. I think the Nun Two was okay, bro. I think it was okay. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't enjoy it. Actually, I think it was bad. I think it was bad. I think it was bad. It was bad. Yeah, it was bad. I didn't enjoy that. I didn't, I didn't enjoy the Nun Two. I didn't even enjoy the first Nun. I feel like the Nun was scarier when it was part of the other. Was it the Conjuring series or like that? Yeah. Once, once it switched over to his own little thing. It, it just wasn't hitting for me. That's just my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? If you agree, great. If you don't, yeah, but that but do Oh, the Exorcist. I did see this. I did see that. I think this movie was good. I think it was good. It was creepy. It was it was really creepy. It could have been crazier, but it, it was just good for me. It was creepy. That's all I can say. It was really creepy. You know what I'm saying? It was creepy. I will say it was creepy. I will say that. So I'll put that in a good meter. Oh, I forgot about this movie missing. Yo, if y'all didn't see missing. Yeah, I need to see the movie Missing. That had a great twist in that movie. So that movie's under the great tier. That movie was great, bro. I like the twist. I like movies that make you think a little bit and they have a little twist. You think you thought something, but you didn't even think it. You thought you thought that, but you thought what you didn't think. And you thought that you thought that, but you didn't think that. I like the Missing movie. Make sure I go check it out. It was great to me. And as I'm scrolling down the list, I don't think I really seen much more on here. Bro. I feel like I did, but maybe I'm just not seeing it. Let's see, I don't think I've seen none that's on here though, but that's I can really I can really pinpoint right now that I can I see Scream! Scream was great! Scream was great! I liked it. I like the new Scream. I like how towards the end it started, you know what I'm saying, giving hints like, you feel me? Maybe she uh she might be coming to the next the next scream. But I, I am sad to hear what happened, you know what I'm saying? I think it's good for the actors for standing up to what was going on, you feel me? Because y'all seen how they was doing them. And they kicked them off the movie. So we're probably not going to have no more screen following that story. But that movie was a great movie. Y'all did good in acting. So shout out to y'all. Ooh, they cloned Tyrone was a good movie. I like that movie a lot too. They cloned Tyrone. It, it, it's another movie that's like, it's, you think it's what it is, but then you didn't think what you thought. And you thought that. And it, it was a good movie. I like the twist at the end. You know what I'm saying? It was a good movie. Jamie Foxx was did really good in this movie. Um, so did the other three actors. I'm sorry, I don't know your name, but y'all did really good as well. It was a good movie. I really enjoyed they clone Tyrone. I think it was I think it was better than Scream, honestly. And I like Scream a lot. I'll put it right here. I'll put it right there. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I think that's it. I'm surprised they didn't put the Beyonce movie on there. Cause if that was on here, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm throwing that in the perfect tier. I'm trying to let me do one last scroll through, make sure I'm not missing nothing, but yeah, I think this is all the movies I've seen in 2023. And it's crazy seeing all these other movies because I feel like I watched a lot of movies, but maybe not. I didn't watch enough. I didn't watch enough. A lot of these movies. Oh, I seen Blue Beetle. I seen Blue Beetle. I seen that. I seen that. I like Blue Beetle a lot. It wasn't a good tier. Blue Beetle was good. You know what I'm saying? I think that was a good start to the DC Universe because I know they're restarting the series. I mean, the universe. It was it was good. You know what I'm saying? I enjoyed it. Had a little funny scene, a little, little laughter there, a little action. You know, just, just a little. It was, it was nice. I, I enjoyed Blue Beetle, but yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for the uh, tier list. Let me see. I'm gonna scroll through. I didn't see. I didn't see um, X, Fast and Furious. I didn't see Transformers. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I didn't see a lot of things. Wow, I'm slacking. I'm slacking, y'all. I'm slacking. All right, y'all. Y'all see the list, man. If I, if y'all know any gems on this list that I did not see yet, make sure you comment down below so I can go check them out. Cause. Your boy loves movies, specifically horror movies are my favorite. But I love all movies though. I love action. I love fingers. I love thrillers. I love drama. I love bombers. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I just trying to rhyme. But um, 
this is this is the current list though. You know what I'm saying? Let's go over the list. We have Spider-Man under the perfect tier, as the Zero Guardians of the Galaxy, Turtles, Evil Dead Rise. I know some of y'all might not agree, but I just love movies like that. Under Awesome, Talk to Me, John Wick, Creed 3, and The Blackening. All bangers. If y'all didn't see them, go check them and go see them. Under Great, we have Missing Nick from Tyrone and Scream. I don't know what number that is, but it's one of the numbers. And it's, it's the newest one, just know that. And they were all good. I love that clip Tyrone. Uh, they close Tyrone. I can't speak. Missing, I love that too, because that had a crazy twist. And they Scream was good too. Good. We had Exorcist and Blue Beetle. Yeah. <laughs> Under OK, we have Ant-Man, Quantanium Mania, Teen Wolf, that Alien movie, and Megan. If y'all didn't see none of them, y'all should go definitely go check them out. And then under the bad, this, this, this is where this is where the movies went down here for the year. We had Insidious, The Nun 2, Buggy Man, Winnie the Pooh. Matter of fact, yeah, let me just, there we go, I'm gonna do this. Yep, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the Flash, you know, I don't gotta say much about, about that one, but that's it. That's all it is. Really. Yeah, that was my little, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to bring some new content to the channel. You know, I, I know it's ATK Reacts, but ATK stands for Aaron the King, and Aaron the King is Aaron. And Aaron loves doing all the other things. I like to play games. I like to watch movies, movie reviews, I like all that stuff, so I wanted this kind of bring some other content to the channel that y'all be willing to watch. So let me know if y'all enjoyed this video. I can, I can do some more tier lists. Also, if y'all not subbed, hit that sub and that like button. And make sure y'all tune in, hit that noti bell because your boy, I'm 2024, I'm telling you, I'm coming different. I'm doing more live streams. I'm doing more other content. That gaming channel I have, Aaron the King Gaming Channel, my OG channel, is about to get revived, bro. It was a 2K channel at first, but strictly games. I play all games. I play scary games. I play story games. I play, I'm playing all that, bro. I have a, a um, game comment, um, video coming out soon that I had to edit. And I, I should have been out. I'm just being lazy. I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to try to get it out by like January 3rd, January 4th. So y'all stay on the lookout for that and check over to that channel. Like that sub with that Noti Bell over there. Follow me on all social medias. You feel me? They're right here. And um, join my Discord so you can hear and talk to your boy whenever I want to chat with y'all. All that being said, your boy ATK Reacts. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Enjoy y'all New Year's. Be safe, man. I love all y'all. And um, we out of here.